how to install compost socks for erosion control. With me, Alice Sturm, Garden Program Manager at Nature Forward. We're demonstrating compost sock installation today. Compost socks are a great solution if you're dealing with runoff or erosion and because of a steep slope or mature tree roots, solutions like rain gardens or berms are not for you. Compost socks, also called silt socks or filter socks, are essentially tubing that is filled with compost. The tubing typically comes in a roll and can be made of biodegradable or synthetic material. For small scale home installation, eight to 12 inch diameter is easy to work with. We're using 12 inch today. To begin, tie a knot at one end, unroll the desired length and use scissors to cut the fabric. Then you fill it up. We're using wood chips, but you can also use compost. Scoop the fill material into the tube until it is full, shaking it down as you go, then tie a knot. Anytime you are addressing erosion or runoff, you always want to look uphill of the problem. That's where the water is coming from. In this case, we have this extremely eroded section of stream bank, and when you look uphill, there is a shallow depression formed by the runoff that is driving this erosion. This area is where we're going to focus. So, starting as far up as we can see this shallow gully, we're going to lay the socks on contour, perpendicular to the flow of water, like a series of little dams or berms. The compost socks interrupt the flow of water. They slow it down and spread it out which gives it a better chance of soaking in. Once they're laid out, it's time to secure them. We are using wooden stakes and a fence post pounder or a sledgehammer. You can also use rebar or heavy duty landscape staples. You want to use one stake for every four or five feet of length. So for ours, that's just one at each end. When you have them secured, you can plant into them with native plants. This is not essential, but plant roots help water soak in and it improves the appearance and habitat value of the area. Plugs and live stakes are both small, so they are ideal for planting both into and between compost socks. A soil knife or stake can help make a hole to plant into. Over time, planting can fully cover up compost socks or landscaping fabric, as on this hillside, which was planted five years ago. The amount of runoff and erosion at the bottom of the slope has greatly decreased due to both the changed topography and the additional plant roots, and the mature trees were not impacted. We hope you enjoyed this video about how to install compost socks. They are a relatively low cost and easy to install practice that can help address runoff and erosion issues.